Hello everyone. So in this video we will learn how to add Google Form responses to Discord automatically. So obviously you are familiar with Google Forms. It is an awesome form builder and Discord is an instant messaging platform. So imagine this. You are running an online bookstore with your team and you are using Google Forms to get the details of your customer. Now the idea is that once the form is submitted by a customer the details of this response should be conveyed to your team on Discord automatically. But the issue here is there is no active connection between Google Forms and Discord. So in cases like these, we have to bring an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that will integrate Google Forms and Discord. The best part of using this process is a person without any technical background can perform this little integration very easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with the real-time example. Okay, so this is a Google form that I have built. It has been titled Parties Free Online Book Form. And this is my Discord account. So the idea is that once the form is filled by a customer, the details of that particular submission will be shown on this particular channel in Discord. So let us do the experiment. So we have a guy called as Thompson Grease. This is the name Thompson Grease. His age is let's say 45. This is the email address thompson 123 at the rate gmail.com and the book he is interested in is let's say beekeeping and the submission has been made by Thompson Grease. So let's have a look. Do we have the details of Thompson Grease in this particular channel and yes we do have it. So as it says new customer data. The name is Thompson Grease, age is 45, the email is thompson 123 at the rate gmail.com the book selected is beekeeping. This is the time of submission. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Forms to Discord? Now to send the data from Google Forms to Discord, it will involve just three easy steps. I repeat again, just three easy steps. You are going to integrate Google Forms and Discord. So first of all, you have to visit Public Connect. Now in the step one, you are going to connect Pably connect to Google Forms with the help of webhook URL. Simply put, you are going to copy the webhook URL from Pably connect and paste it into Google Forms. Now in the second step, you are going to collect the data from Google Forms in Pably connect. Simply put, you are going to make a submission in Google Forms. The data of that submission will be collected in Pably connect. Now in the step 3, you are going to use the same submission data that was uh, done in Google Forms to frame a message in Discord and send it on a Discord channel. Now the importance of uh, creating this workflow is all you have to do is just build this workflow for once because whenever there is a new form submission in Google Forms automatically the message will be displayed on Discord. Okay so to begin the integration process in the new tab just type pably.com p-a-double-b-l-y.com pably.com press enter. Now you have a question why the hell are we working in incognito mode? Well the answer is very simple. If you are working with the integration of Google Forms to any other app, it will involve the creation of Google Sheets. Now, if you are going to work with Google Sheet, the problem is there will be authentication issues if you have multiple Gmail accounts. So to avoid authentication issues, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Okay, so this is the website pably.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. In my case, I have already built an account. So that is why when I click here, I will be brought to the app section of Pably. So as you can see, this is the app section of Pably. Scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am planning to give it as Google Forms. Google Forms. To Discord. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. And let me just straight away click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now I want to send the data from Google Forms. So in the choose app, let me just add Google Forms. Google Forms it is. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response in spreadsheet. Okay, so as you can see, when you click on new response in spreadsheet, you will find the webhook URL. 
and these are the instructions to integrate Google Forms to Pabli Connect. So let's get started. So this is the Google Form I am interested in integrating with. Penguin free online book form. So let me just cancel this one. Okay, let me just remove this one also. So as you can see, we have the same fields. Okay, your name, your age, your email and select one book. So basically it was just the copy of the old, old form. So we are going to integrate this form to Pabli Connect. Now the integration of Google Forms involves the creation of Google Sheet. So I'm talking a lot about Google Sheet. So what's the deal with Google Sheet? So what I'm going to do here is first of all, let me just scroll down and here you will find the last field. This is known as select one book. In my case, this is my last field, select one book. In your case, figure out your own last field and just click here. So make sure that the last field is mandatory. Click on required. Excellent. Now scroll up and here you will find responses. Click on responses and here you will find an icon to create a spreadsheet. Just click it. So here you have two choices. Create a new spreadsheet, select existing spreadsheet. So we are going to create a new spreadsheet associated with this particular form. Just simply click on create. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, the columns, okay, the timestamp, your name, your age, your email and select one book. And this is the name, Penguin Free Online Book Form Responses. So all the questions we have, all the fields we have is now being reflected as columns. Additionally, we have one more column that is timestamp. Timestamp basically means the time at which the response was generated. So the idea is that if someone's make a submission on this particular form, the data of that particular form responses will be available as a row. So if someone sends or submits a form, the data will be available in this row and then, then this row, this row, this row and so on. So my point is, we are going to uh, receive the data of the submission in this Google Sheet and after that we are going to send it to Pabli Connect. So let's get started. Simply put, we are going to integrate this particular Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. So to begin the integration process, first of all just click on add-ons. So when you click on add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect Webhooks might not have been installed in your Google Sheet. So first of all, just click on get add-ons. Okay, so when you click on get add-ons, you will find Google Workspace Marketplace in front of you. In the search, just type Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click this. So as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks is already installed in my Google Sheet. All you have to do is just click on this button and Pabli Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now remember this, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay, so I am assuming that you have installed Pabli Connect Webhooks in your Google Sheet and also refreshed your Google Sheet. So moving to add-ons, click on add-ons, go to Pabli Connect Webhooks, just click on initial setup. Okay, so this is the window of initial setup. Here we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Let's start with the easy one, the webhook URL. So this is my webhook URL. This is something I have mentioned earlier. I'm just going to copy this. And after that, I'm just going to paste it here. So easy. Now we have to mention the trigger column. The trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat this again. The trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the last data entry column is column E. So that is why I'm going to mention the trigger column as column E. Just simply click on submit. Okay, so the window disappears. Now there is one minor thing that you have to do. Go back to add-ons, clicking on Pabli Connect Webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column E is filled, it will keep on sending the data to Pabli Connect and Pabli Connect is ready to receive the data. Awesome. So what we are going to do here is we are going to make a submission. So let me just go to my Google form. Okay, let me just click on preview. So this time a person called as Matthew Perry is making the submission. The name is Matthew Perry. His age is 78. And this is his email address, michaelcarras481 at the rate gmail.com. And he is interested in studying C++. Okay, so this is the book he is going after. So let me just click on submit. 
Okay, so the submission has been made by Michael Karras or the person called as Matthew Perry. So let's have a look. Do we have the details of this particular submission in Google Sheets? Okay, so yeah, we do have the details of the submission in Google Sheet. So let me just uh, improve the format. Okay, so let me just click at center. Okay, so now this is looking good. Okay, so the submission has been made. We have the time of the submission. We have the name of the submitter. We have the age that is 70, 78. We have the, his email address and the book that he is interested in. C++ full tutorials. So as you can see, column E has been filled. So let's have a look. Did Pabliconet capture the data of this particular column? Oh, I'm sorry, this particular data. So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the data. So this is the time. This is the name, Matthew Perry. This is the age. This is the email. This is the book that he's interested in. And there is one more detail that is row index. So what is row index? So as you can see, this is the row. That is row number two. So this is the data. That is row index. That is two. So using these details, we are going to frame a message and this message will be delivered on Discord so that our team members can understand that we have a new customer. So let's go to the action window and here in the choose app, let me just add Discord. So here we have two choices, Discord and Discord discontinued. So obviously we can just ignore this one. Let's go with this one. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send channel message. Simply just click on connect. Now, uh, actually my Discord account is open. Okay, I have already logged in. So Pabli Connect automatically figured that out. So as you can see, we have some fields. The webhook URL, the message, the bot name, the bot icon and text to speech. So let's start with this one, the webhook URL. So this is my Discord channel. Okay, and this is the server I am working with books and books and initially I was working with this particular text channel hashtag party books now for your consideration I'm going to create a new channel okay so this will be on penguin books so let me create a new channel and the name of the channel will be penguin books okay and let me just straight away click on create channel okay so a new channel has been created called as penguin books now of course you can send the message to other channels you just have to select the channel name in the webhook i will tell you that don't worry so first of all as i mentioned we have to figure out the webhook url so that is why we have created a new channel so just click here okay and here you will find the option server settings click on server settings and here you will find the option that is integrations click on integrations Okay, so as you can see, we have the choice for webhooks. And as you can see, I have already created one webhook. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create one more webhook. So let me just click on add new webhook. Okay, so we have to give a name to this webhook. If you're not happy with Captain Web, Captain Hook name, I'm just going to change it to let's say Penguin Books Webhook. Just a random name, nothing more okay so we have uh, created the name okay we have entered the name now what's next so we are going to change the channel name as i as you know that this uh, particular uh, server has three channels now these are the three channels we have one is the general one this is the party books that we have uh, sent the message on while i was showing the uh, example okay and this is the newly created one so i want to send the message on this newly created channel hashtag penguin books so i'm selecting this one i'm just going to copy the webhook url okay the webhook url has been copied and i'm going to paste it here so easy okay so what's next just click on save changes essentially this means that we have integrated discord to Pabli connect now let's frame the message so these are the information that we will be using to frame the message so it would be something like new customer data okay new customer data and after that i'm just going to enter name okay dash and let me just map the name of the person that is matthew perry okay and uh, what i'm going to do here is let me just straight away click on save and send test request 
So when I click on save and send test request, it basically means the response will be available in Discord. So as you can see, it is now showing new customer data name, Matthew Perry. Now this is looking very clumsy because all of them in one single line. I want to uh, enter the data in different lines. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just uh, going to introduce bracket br slash. So it will just uh, show you that this particular code will work like the same thing that press enter works. Okay, it will introduce this in a new new line. Okay, so once again, let me just uh, click on save and send test request and you will understand the difference. So as you can see, we have a new line that is name that is Matthew Perry. Okay, we have two different lines. Now, I hope it is getting clear to you. So what I'm going to do here is once again, I'm just going to enter br slash okay easy after that i'm going to enter his age okay i'm sorry h dash and this is the age okay and once again to create a new line excellent after that we have the email now if you are still worried where this data came from remember this data came from here and this actually came from the google form submission that we had made earlier okay so we have uh, the email now okay dash and then we have the email br dash okay and there is one more thing that is book selected book selected okay dash so this is the book name and uh, we can also include the timestamp or the time when this uh, book submission when this submission was made so let me introduce one more line okay time of submission and okay so this is the time so i think we are ready okay so once again uh, let me just enter the name of the person so i will be sending this message as uh, penguin admin okay so this will be the bot name and we can introduce the bot icon by entering the bot url which actually supports jpg gif and png formats but I'm not interested in entering the bot icon, so I'm just going to ignore it. Now, if you want to make sure that the message that arrives is uh, read and in a voice, you can actually change it to enable, but I'm not interested. Let's keep it as disabled because after a while it can be quite annoying. So once again, let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, new customer data. The name is Matthew Perry in new line. We have the age 78 in new line, the email. The book selected C++ full tutorials, the time of submission. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this particular uh, message shows that we have a successful integration between Google Forms and Discord. So the idea is that you just build this workflow for once. Because every time a new submission happens in Google Form, it will be reflected as a message on Discord. Now before you leave, let me just show you the whole mechanism. So let me just uh, minimize this action window. And let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Forms to Public Connect, and then you integrated Public Connect to Discord. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Forms and Discord. Awesome. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.